with an estimated 426 left along the South African coastline, the great white shark is nearing possible extinction. Researchers have spent six years tracking the sharks using both genetic and photographic evidence. The model to estimate the entire population was applied with photos collected in Hans by Alon. Then what we did was we had two options. We could either replicate this mark recapture study, as it is called, where you identified one individual based on, in this case, on the dorsal fin, it's like a fingerprint, and then you track how many times the animals come back, and you can estimate the entire population. South Africa's great whites only breed in our waters, migrating now and then, but always coming back. The number of shark nets used to protect bathers are a major contributor to declining numbers. Same as for the lion, in the past we wanted to kill them all because they are dangerous predators and they want to bite human beings and the old approach was getting rid of them. With better knowledge people started looking at lions as the magnificent predator they are and as the important uh, part of the ecosystem as they are. We just need people to have the same perception for sharks. Illegal poaching is also contributing to the problem. Recently, one jaw sold for over one million US dollars. The biggest jaw recently sold for a substantial amount of money. And since that, there's quite an eagerness to try and catch white sharks. Even though great white sharks are a protected species, Researchers say greater regulations and removal of some shark nets could help. Without the predators in our waters, the entire ecosystem could fall off kilter. Pelagisitusa, Cape Town.